Yep, on the road early again, but I had a couple of reasons. This was pretty much the first one. The Perseid meteor shower was coming through. There was a little bit of Northern Lights activity and I just wanted to get out and have a look. The other reason though, was that I wanted to be someplace specific for lunch. So on through Hazar and... Not much sound at this time of day. Dawn is probably about 20 minutes away. It's getting bright in the east. And I don't know why I'm whispering, but it seems appropriate. I do love being out on the road as the sun comes up. I love those moments on a summer morning when the sun is just below the horizon and the glow reflects on something like here at the old Makepeace schoolhouse. And then when the sun itself comes up, yeah, kind of magical. And now those sunflowers turn their faces toward the rising sun and the grasshoppers climb up on the canola stalks to get a little bit of that radiant heat and recharge their bodies for a busy day of gnawing on things. And the light. Yeah, really it's all about the light. Morning light, the best. I was headed south and east from Makepeace. I wanted to get to the town of Vulcan for noon. But there were so many things to see on the way, like these twists and turns in Crowfoot Creek. The hawkweed bouncing in that morning breeze. A little white-tailed buck in the canola, who just heard. Yeah, got my attention too. Over by Milo, there were young Franklin's gulls out on the water and young avocets, too. This young teal was a little camera shy. McGregor Lake was calm and almost like a mirror. And as I was sitting there, I saw this guy. You don't often see loons out on the prairie lakes. Ring-billed gulls, they're around all summer. And judging from the whitewash on this roof, they uh, really enjoy roosting there. Down on a sandy part of the beach, I found the shells of Chinese mystery snails. And yes, that really is the name. And hundreds of ladybugs. Why there were so many, why they were concentrated on this area, I have no idea. But it was fun lying in the sand and trying to keep them in focus. That, trust me, was a challenge. By now it was getting on toward noon, so I left the ladybugs and the lake behind and started heading toward Vulcan. But I had to stop for this. Harvest time is just starting to get underway and one of the first crops to come off is always peas. But man, oh man, what a dirty, dusty crop peas are. But it is kind of fascinating to watch the combines chew their way through it. Time for lunch now though, so me and this little hitchhiker headed on to town. Lunch was every bit as delicious as I'd hoped it would be, but I overindulged. So I had to pull over by these poplars for a little nap. So was it worth it getting up early for the northern lights, the sunrise, the ladybugs, and the lunch? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely.